Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Um, just want to share with you um, my new definition of atheism. I've been working on atheism now for about two years. I've listened to at least a thousand videos or more of atheists. Uh, I've read the key text of atheism. I'm thoroughly uh, grounded in the history of atheism and in the key historical texts of atheists. Um, this definition that I'm going to give you is based on uh, in-depth research, historical research, um, journalism, uh, journalists and other scholars have said part of what I'm about to say in my definition. So it's not just me who has come up with this definition. Others have seen other elements of atheism and um, I'm just taking bits of how they define atheism and putting it together. So, in other words, I'm not completely original in this definition. Okay. Now, the general definition of atheism that atheists will give you is that atheism is an absence of belief due to a lack of evidence. It's a, belief, a lack of belief in God due to a lack of evidence. It's interesting to note that atheists like to pick that definition, but there are many other definitions of atheism around. But they just choose that particular one because it suits them at this particular time. So what is my scholarly definition of atheism? <clears throat> I would say my definition of atheism is this. Atheism today can be defined as this. The desire to destroy Christianity based on lies, deception and prejudice. That is the best scholarly definition of atheism you will get in modern times. The desire to destroy Christianity based on lies, deception and prejudice. So for example the atheist will say, uh, when, when you debate them or discuss, they'll say, well Jay, uh, our definition of atheism is an absence of belief in God, um, right, uh, due to a lack of evidence, right. At the same time, these kind of people who you debated are going around attacking Christianity and trying to destroy Christianity. So with the same breath that they say this is the definition of atheism, the same breath they're going around trying to destroy Christianity, thereby showing that atheism is just not about a lack of evidence for the existence of God. It's much more. And so, for example, I'll give you an example. Sam Harris. <coughs> He's completely out to politically destroy Christianity. Christopher Hitchens completely out to destroy politically Christianity. Richard Dawkins completely out to destroy Christianity. Daniel Dennett completely out to destroy Christianity, you see. Um, and you could go on and on and you could pick even the, the, the YouTubers, famous YouTubers like Thunderfuck, Aaron Ra, or even people like Bionic Dance, or whoever. You just take take the smaller time YouTubers as compared to the big time atheists like Sam Harris, but, but quite well known on YouTube. What are they out to do? They're not just out to give reason and evidence for Christianity. They're out to destroy Christianity. And they do it with lies. Aaron Ra lied, has lied, consistently lied about the definition of faith consistently lied. It's on record that he's lied. Christopher Hitchens lied. Dawkins has lied. Uh, Sam Harris has lied. And they continually lie about what Christianity is. They continually lie about that. I'll give you an example. They say that, that Christianity is about faith and no evidence. And that is a complete utter bare-faced lie. So my definition, they just desire to destroy Christianity based on lies is correct. Then the next thing, deception. Deception. In order to be uh, truly uh, scholarly and academic, truly uh, open to discussion, you've got to be open to real uh, academic scrutiny. It's interesting to note the top academic atheists who, who have attacked Christianity, such as the ones that I've just noted, Dawkins, Hitchens, etc., never had their books under academic scrutiny when they were attacking Christianity. Interesting, isn't it? They never engaged with scholars who could critique them in their books. And um, 
you know, in other words, they're setting up straw men in their works so that they can knock them down. So we've looked at lies, we've looked at deception, and we've looked at prejudice. It's interesting to know, even though many atheists have come from Christian backgrounds, that many, many atheists have extremely prejudiced towards Christianity. They don't like the fact that Christianity doesn't believe in gay rights. They don't like the fact that Christianity tells them they're sinners. They don't like the fact uh, concerning these things. They don't like some of the implications, the moral and political implications of Christianity. They don't like it. They are prejudiced. And they're not honest about this. So that's my definition of atheism. It's a new definition. And it's a great definition. And it's an accurate definition. And it's the best definition you will ever get on modern atheism today. The desire to destroy Christianity based on lies, deception and prejudice. Take care and God bless you.